point will transform Goose Island. Hi there, this is Gabby with Next Gen Real Estate and Property Management serving Chicagoland. This video is one of two videos about Goose Island and it is requested by one of our subscribers. Robert, thanks so much for enjoying our channel and reaching out to me. Today I will tell you about Halstead the mega development that will transform Goose Island. While 901 North Halstead Street along the Chicago River currently houses a Greyhound maintenance facility that is soon to be demolished once the project gains the necessary approvals from the city. This complex will bring 530 affordable housing units, inclusive of its 2,650 new residential units, 300 hotel rooms, 108,000 square feet of office space, 54 square feet of retail, 1,400 parking spaces, and 1,340 linear feet of the public river walk, and 3.8 acres of open space. This mega development is unique in that its buildings are aligned in a way that keeps the tip of the island open. Designed by the Harshorn Plumcard architecture, whose architecture is modern and sculpted, but with a variety that gives each tower its own identity. So let's get down to business. What are the four phases of development in Halstead Point. Phase number one. The first phase, which will build out the northwest corner of the site, will include a 46-story mixed-use tower. The tower will have 20,000 square feet of ground floor, grocery store, and retail space, and 485 residential units. Approximately 97 of those 485 residentials are affordable. The residential units will be on the second floor for its units on the north side from floors to two through five with parking in the rest of the podium. They will vary from studio, one, two, and three bedroom dwellings. Residential amenities will be on the sixth floor. Phase number two. Phase number two will build upon the northeastern corner along the Chicago River. Omni Group will build a 30 story mixed use building and a 45 story mixed use tower. These two towers will produce 1,150 housing units. Aside from 8,400 square feet of commercial space, the building will also have 500 parking spaces with underground loading added from the North Access Drive. And in this phase, the developed Developers will also create 350 linear feet of the Riverwalk. Phase 3 on the southeastern corner will build a 65-story mixed-use tower and the majority of the development's open space. The mixed-use tower will rise 691 feet and provide 1,015 residential units. The ground floor will have 18,800 square feet of retail space and 600 parking spaces. Open space plans for this phase include 853 linear feet of Riverwalk and 109,400 square feet of open area for the planned market plaza. The expected $7.3 million phase is expected to take 24 to 30 months for construction with an undetermined start date. And there's phase four, which involves a new 28-story hotel, the final part of the Riverwalk and the community dog run. The hotel will include 2,150 square feet of ground floor retail space. These will be built along North Halstead Street on the southwest corner of overall site. Other amenities in each residential tower, there will be townhomes at the base facing the Riverwalk. Then in the outside spaces, there will be a plaza, social lawn, and bike trail. The market plaza will be a gathering place for events including farmers markets or food trucks. On the other hand, the social lawn is a terraced green space at the southern tip of the entire development. And the community will also connect to the nearby Wild Mile, which is an eco park at the north branch of the Chicago River. Unlike other mega developments in Chicago, Halstead Point will not use any TIF or government funds. What's even more amazing is that the developers will pay the city and support local community initiatives. Omni Group will contribute more than $28 million, including payments to the Neighborhood Opportunity Fund, Adopt a Landmark, local impact fund, and industrial corridor conversion fee. Halstead Point will also help improve the infrastructure in Goose Island. They will work with CDOT to widen Halstead Street, eliminating on-street parking, upgrade 
signals and make turn lanes and bike lanes improvements near the site. And the development will boost job growth and economic progress with 10,000 construction jobs and $760 million in tax revenue over the next 20 years. Halstead Point is now a source of hope for Goose Islanders. Alderman Walter Burnett of the 27th Ward said, when I was a kid growing up over the bridge from here, we used to call this area Ghost Town. Now this area is very vibrant. A lot of great things are happening. Halstead Point is the first residential real estate project on Goose Island. It will transform the area, which until 2017 was only zoned for industrial use. It joins other groundbreaking mixed use projects, such as Lincoln Yards, to transform Chicago for a better, more prosperous future. So what do you think about Halstead Point? Share your thoughts with us in the comment below. Thanks for watching and as always, where's your future?